Jess is blessed, and I am the mom to two babies who wear cloth diapers. People ask me a lot of questions because I run a cloth diapering YouTube channel, and one of the most frequent questions that I am asked is, what is my wash routine? Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of history. I have done some wash routine videos in the past. However, we live in an apartment and we have coin-operated laundry. For a long time, I looked into compact apartment washers. However, they're, you know, they're pretty spendy anywhere from, you know, 70 for like the countertop models to over $100, $200 for the larger models. So the price was pretty cumbersome and I was very leery about how well they would work. However, I kept eyeing them because our laundry expenses were becoming like ridiculous. With Georgia, my younger daughter, getting bigger and not wearing such tiny little diapers anymore, laundry was becoming enormous. It would end up being a load of laundry every single day. And at 75 cents for a free wash, 75 cents for a hot wash, 75 cents for a rinse, and 75 cents to dry the inserts, which usually would take at least twice. We were looking at 375 a load a day just to wash diapers. And to be totally honest, it was starting to really wear on me. I was starting to think like, we can't afford to wash these diapers. And so in comes the Panda washer. So a little bit about the washer itself. It is the 12 pound capacity twin tub washer from Panda. This model is $179.99 and it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing and gets my diapers cleaner than they were getting in the coin operated laundry. No joke. All of my reservations about the washer were kind of like, I equate to how I went into cloth diapering. I thought, you know, cloth diapers, there's no way they could work as well as disposables and they do and better and that's exactly how I feel about this. So for those of you that live in an apartment, this video will be very helpful. For those of you that are just curious or looking into this washer, that will be very helpful. And for those of you who are curious about my wash routine, obviously if you don't have a compact mini washer, it's not going to apply to you. However, the steps are going to pretty much be the same whether you have a compact mini washer or a large washer in your own home. So this video can be helpful for everyone. So now I've let the laundry accumulate all day and we have plenty of diapers to do a load of laundry. So let's head into the bathroom where I keep the washer and I will show you guys how we do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the Panda twin tub washer looks like. And we have the smallest bathroom known to mankind. It's very narrow coming through here. The area between the wall and the sink is very narrow as well. And we still have plenty of room to hook up the washer. The Panda washer comes completely pre-assembled. There is no assembly required. You take it out of the box. It's totally ready to use. This is what the back of it looks like. There is the water drain hose right here and the power cord in the back. And that is all that's in the back of the machine. So then you go ahead and plug it in. This is the drain hose. It comes with this cool little uh, thing so it can hook over a sink or into a toilet. For draining diaper laundry, I like to just hang it over this so that it will drain into the toilet. This and a floor mat down here are basically the only two things that I recommend like adding to this setup. This is just a piece of pantyhose, cut the end off of it and secured it with rubber bands on the end of the drain hose to catch lint. Because if you don't, you will end up getting blockages in your plumbing. This is the last one that I used. And as you can see, there is a ton, ton, ton of lint in there. So you wanna make sure that you have some sort of lint trap at the end of your drain hose. The second thing that I recommend getting is a rubber floor mat, or this is a memory foam one that I just got at like Target or somewhere because that really helps stabilize the machine. And if it does end up rocking or anything just a little bit, this will help stabilize it and help with sound especially if you are like on a second or third floor apartment and you don't want people under you to hear the washer. 
And the only other hose is this one that it comes with. It is secured on this end, it doesn't come off. And then this end just attaches easily to most sinks. So it just hooks on just like that. And so that is where you will have your water go in to your washer and it will fill up on this side. You can see it coming in right there. But we'll get more into that in just a second. So this is what the front panel of the machine looks like. There are three knobs and one switch. This switch will determine which side the water will fill up on. So it will either fill up on the wash side, which is this side, or you can flip it over and it will fill up over here on the spin side. And again, we'll get more into that in a second. And then this is the wash timer. So this is where you determine how long your wash cycle will be, up to 15 minutes. This is very simple. It's either normal wash, strong wash, or drain. And the drain, it is self-draining. This one has a pump, and so it can be sitting down low, and you can have the hose up high, and it will still drain. So that is the drain function. And over here, this is the spin timer and all the way up to five minutes. So it's super, super easy. You basically wash your clothes in here, and then you put them over onto the spin side, which is this, and it spins them. And it seems complicated, but I promise it's really, really not. The spin side is much smaller just because once things are wet, they are really a lot smaller and you can fit a lot more in here than you think and you don't need a lot of space. And this thing spins, let me tell you, the stuff comes out almost completely dry. It is amazing. That is about the machine itself. Now I'm going to go into how to wash cloth diapers using this machine. So here is our cloth diaper laundry. So basically, just like when you're washing cloth diapers in a standard size washer, you're going to want to start with a rinse. So I'm going to use cool water. And I normally fill it up with diapers as it is filling up with water so that I can see where it's at. You don't need much detergent at all. That's another wonderful thing about this is the amount of detergent you need is just a tiny amount. Like this much is plenty. So we're gonna add that. You wanna make sure you're not filling the washer past the lint chap line, like right about here. I like to do the pre-wash for a while just so that they kind of have a chance to soak and get all of the you know urine and everything out of them. So we're gonna do 12 minutes and I will turn it on and show you guys the power because this thing has power. <laughs> Here it is washing. That's another thing, this machine will work if the lid is open, so if you need to add something else to it or whatever, the wash side will still work. The spin side immediately stops if you open the lid. Just because it goes so fast, it's a danger to anybody to have it still spinning if it's open. The first rinse cycle is done, and you can see the water is pretty dirty in there. So then we're just going to turn this to drain. And you see it is draining right into the toilet now. It's definitely dirty, dirty water. So then what I usually do is just start spinning them right away. And so I just grab them and put them in here. Sometimes these get knotted up just because they spin so hard. If you want to rinse them, this is kind of what I do to rinse them out as I'm putting them in there. I will switch the water inlet to the spin side, so it's gonna be coming into this side, and I turn the water on. Now it's gonna come in through here, and I let it kind of rinse these diapers out as I put them in. I'm gonna turn that water off and it's done draining already so I'm going to turn that off as well put this little disc thing on top of the clothes in here if you forget this it'll make this crazy noise and you'll definitely know that you forgot it but this is what kind of keeps the clothes down there as they're spinning really fast 
Then you close this lid, close this lid, and you only have to do like a minute and a half. And I just do this to really get the rest of that pea water out of them. So While they're spinning, it's actually going to drain as well, and it will drain out there, and I'll show you that. Okay, so it's done spinning. And this is where I like to keep a little tiny, this is just a dollar store laundry basket, just a little tiny one. Because in the meantime, because I still have these to spin, but these ones are done and they still need to be washed. So you have to put them somewhere. So I dump them in there. So they're in there and then I can load the spin side back up. Just repeat this process until they are all spun out. So this last little bit is done spinning. Now, with this last one, they don't need to go in here because we're just going to be starting the next wash cycle. And this is going to be the normal just wash. Now, normally with cloth diapers, your wash cycle is hot water, but you're not supposed to use very hot water in this. So I use like warm-ish water, a little above warm. It's hot, but not super hot, if that makes sense. Also, make sure that you put this back into the wash side and I'll start the warm water. Okay, and now we will shut off the water, close the lid, we will start the wash cycle again, and we're going to do another, I like to give them a really good wash, so I'm gonna just do 15. Once that is done, we'll come back and finish up with spinning them out and a rinse cycle. Okay, now my babies are in the bath and the wash cycle is done so I'm going to turn it to drain while it is draining then I'm going to repeat the same process that I did before with spinning them and throwing them in the basket okay so now it has finished spinning again so we're going to make sure that the water is going to go in on the wash side and so this is going to be our final rinse so I'm going to use cool water Okay, so now it's full of water, so we're going to start our final rinse cycle. George, do you want to shut it for Mama? Good job, and start it. There, there we go, good job! All right, so we're going to just do like 10 minutes. Okay guys, so now the final rinse cycle is done. We're going to turn this to drain. And while it drains, I'm going to just start putting stuff into the spin cycle. And done. Now, you just want to make sure and drain any water out of the hoses. Make sure you leave it open so it can air dry. Just kind of hang the hoses in it. You can store this in a closet or somewhere. And now here is a load of fresh, clean laundry. Smells amazing. And you can either hang dry them. I will show you what I use to hang dry or line dry them. Or you can throw them into a dryer. And that is the true test for me, is when I put them in a dryer because the heat like heats these cloth diapers up and if there is any urine left at all, they will smell like it. It like bakes the smell out. And with this machine, no smell at all. I mean, these are completely fresh and clean. So I'll show you a couple things that I use to dry the diapers. This is actually a folding it collapses and it hangs so you can hang it on a shower rod or whatever else and here's the other option is a fold up clothes drying rack for your house you can fit so many cloth diapers on it and then it folds up and it's very sturdy that is the different ways that you can dry your cloth diapers so there you have it guys that is my wash routine with the panda mini washer However, the wash routine is exactly the same if I had a regular sized washer. It would be the same three washes. And so for those of you that have asked what my wash routine is, that is it. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything that I missed because there is a lot to the washer. Also, let me know down in the comments what your wash routine is. 
And I will leave links to all the products that I mentioned down in the comment section. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I just got that and I have found it so useful and so helpful that I wanted to make this video to help other people or families that might live in apartments or have to use coin-operated laundry because the expense can really add up when you're trying to cloth diaper and use coin-operated laundry. And the point of cloth diapering really is to save money. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. I do lots of cloth diaper information, education, reviews, and giveaways. And there are some giveaways coming up this week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.